Hi folks, we're continuing to think through some of the implications of Jesus' resurrection for us. Uh, we often talk about heaven, don't we? But what will heaven be like? Uh, well, sometimes in our minds we, we, we have this idea of heaven that it's this kind of floaty, spiritual, disembodied uh, experience that we go through. But actually the New Testament talks about us having new bodies in heaven, in in the new creation, we'll have new bodies, re- renewed bodies. Why? Well, because Jesus rose physically from the grave, didn't he? Uh, we keep uh, pressing that point. It's not just some sort of spiritual thing, some sort of symbolism or something like that. No, when we say Jesus rose from the dead, we're saying that Jesus actually properly, physically rose from the dead, physically came back to life. And the argument of 1 Corinthians... 1 Corinthians 15 is that as it was for him so it will be uh, for us Uh, Philippians uh, chapter 3 uh, puts it like this Philippians chapter 3 verses 20 to 21 but our citizenship is in heaven and we eagerly await a saviour from there the Lord Jesus Christ who by the power that enables him to bring everything under his control will transform our lowly bodies so that they will be like his glorious body. Uh, My granny had uh, lupus, diphtheria, polio. She wore calipers um, for most of her life. Uh, When she was quite elderly, she fell and broke her leg uh, and spent the rest of her life in a wheelchair. Uh, she took a whole uh, ice cream tub uh, of tablets every day and she died of bowel cancer and my granny was looking forward to the new creation in part because she would have a new body